this car is, is going to perform just as it did before, only better. Alan Shedd drove his co-op-owned Prius from Georgia to Energy CS in Southern California to be transformed into a plug-in hybrid. Jackson EMC's Prius is the first car converted to a plug-in under a project of the Cooperative Research Network. The new bank of lithium-ion batteries and charge control hardware and software will enable Allen to refuel his hybrid car, not just at the gas station, but from any 120-volt outlet. You know, it's exciting being here sort of in the, in the mecca of, of plug-in hybrids. A lot of these guys have a lot of electric vehicle experience, and, and you know, it's just exciting being around that. To really be on the cutting edge of, of new technology, something that's going to have a, a significant impact for, for the U.S. and, and also the co-op. You can plug it in anywhere, and one four-hour charge adds enough onboard electric power to allow Allen to get more than 100 miles per gallon for the first 30 miles of his daily commute. We could have done other cars. We had the experience with the Prius, and we felt like 100 miles per gallon is a statement that is going to make people wake up and just say, hey, it's not fantasy world. In terms of mitigating risk and learning about batteries, plug-ins are a good way to integrate renewable energy and electricity into transportation. Even though we consider this a, you know, a, a prototype car, it's for all intents and purposes ready for prime time. Allen drove the newly converted plug-in car 1,400 problem-free miles from California back to Georgia stopping to refuel at CoServe Electric outside Dallas-Fort Worth. Back in Jefferson, Allen downloads data every week from the monitoring devices installed by Energy CS, which will be tracking the car's performance for one year. Now that I've been back um, and sort of settled into a routine, one of the biggest concerns was just how is the car going to perform on a day-to-day -day basis. In my normal commute back and forth to the office, it's a good test. Before conversion, I was seeing about 45, 50 miles per gallon. Post conversion, especially now that the weather's warmer, I'm seeing 80, 90 miles per gallon. In fact, this morning, almost 100 miles per gallon driving from home to the office. Not only is the plug-in Prius performing as expected, but Jackson EMC is enjoying a big boost from the publicity that comes from having one of the first PHEVs in the southeastern U.S. There's been a lot of interest in the car, both here at the co-op, in the community, and in the, in the broader market. You know, this is the only plug-in hybrid in the southeast right now. Soon there'll be one in North Carolina and another one's uh, gonna be in Florida. But it's a rarity, it's an oddity. People wanna know about it, people wanna see it. And it's, it's getting the attention. We think it's exciting, we think that uh, the people will be interested in what we're doing, we think that uh, They'll get uh, good coverage throughout the Metro Atlanta media as well as our immediate service territory here. It's things that people are interested in. Uh, it's a good project and it's uh, unusual and we think it's something to be proud of. For a co-op, there are a lot of reasons why it's important. There's the PR aspect, there's getting more information to help answer the questions of our customers down the road. There's the very real direct, you know, saving money, saving energy and then showing that we're, we're a responsible citizen, that we're, we're doing a job to protect the environment, conserve energy, you know, make the world a better place. After six months of meticulous monitoring and studying of the data, Allen sees the hybrid plug-in as a viable option for consumers and co-ops alike. The fact that you can take an off-the-shelf car, not really built to be a plug-in hybrid, do a few modifications, put in a bigger battery pack, drive it across country and then drive it reliably for six months with no issues, it says the stuff works. Jackson EMC and other CRN member co-ops are at the forefront of a movement that may see electric power become a major source of energy for transportation if the advanced batteries under study in today's plug-in hybrids prove to be affordable and reliable.